Cancer Awareness Month, we're learning about a potentially groundbreaking treatment for the disease. Close. Breast Cancer Awareness Month and new figures released from the CDC finds more than 200,000 women each year are being diagnosed with the disease. Join us now to talk about the effective treatment plans, including a groundbreaking procedure using stem cells, is Dr. Joel uh, Aronowitz. Thank you so much for being with us from the Breast Preservation Foundation. Uh, my mom has had uh, breast cancer, had the mastectomy, and you're telling us about a, a type of mastectomy that... Um, salvages more of the woman's body, I guess is a way to put it. That's right. One of, the, one of the good things, part of the good news about breast cancer that we can talk about is since we're diagnosing breast cancer a lot earlier now, at earlier stages, we can do less disfiguring breast surgery. And women just have to know to ask for it. So a skin sparing or nipple sparing mastectomy means removing just the breast tissue, usually through a little incision under the breast around the nipple, and taking out the breast tissue and then replacing that either with an implant or with fat from another part of the body. As and opposed to now where you just basically remove everything and you're left it, with a, a flat chest there. Exactly, the, okay. exactly. So women, it's important that women know about this so that they ask about it from the earliest stages. Can I see a plastic surgeon? Can I, am I a candidate for this type of oncoplastic surgery? Hmm. Also, doctor, what is um, in regards to something called stem cell breast reconstruction? Well, that's a procedure that we can use usually for women who've had a lumpectomy. And mm -hmm. usually when a woman has had a lumpectomy, meaning only part of the breast has been removed and then usually radiation is done afterward, that breast that's had the radiation is smaller, more withered than the other natural breast. Mm -hmm. And we can replace a lot of the volume using fat. And that's something that's been done for a long time. Now we're able to enhance that with stem cells harvested also from the fat. And this is something that's in an experimental phase, but, phase, but it's very promising. How do you know, if, you know, we all have fairly basic insurance coverage and we're thankful to have it if we do have it, but some of these things, are these covered by insurance or do you just have to go to certain hospitals do it that others don't? What, what do you need to know if you're a patient and you want the best? Well, if you want the best, it's just like shopping for anything else. You need to ask for the best. You need to educate yourself, and you need to ask for things. Because you're probably not going to be offered these more advanced things. I think so. You need to be aware of studies that are going on. You need to ask your friends, and you need to get on the Internet, I think, and look for information. Information is out there. Our foundation, the Breast Preservation Foundation, has information. The information is there. And you need to go to first-rate medical centers. We just showed an image a moment ago, something called the smart bra, and it can detect uh, breast cancer. What are your thoughts on this? Well, I think that's at, a, that's at an early stage. It's yet to be proven that it actually can detect breast cancer early, but I think it's very exciting. I think that the smart bra and techniques like that that are coming along that allow women to go to the to her over-the-counter uh, department store, mm -hmm. wherever, and purchase something that allows her to maybe find something earlier. Even if it only makes her more aware of the possibility yeah. of breast cancer, she may find it herself. It may take her into the doctor and he finds something. So I think that's very exciting. I think it's a good trend. You have armed us uh, with some great information and given us some good questions to ask uh, for our family and friends that we find in those situations or ourselves. Thank you so much for Thank joining you, us this morning. Appreciate it. And check out that information online, Breast Preservation Foundation. Time to